Hey there, people. So today I am giving you my guide to all of the grappling hooks in Terraria. I will be telling you how to get every hook in the game, giving a stats comparison for all the hooks, demonstrating them where it's useful to do so. I'm not going to show you every single one, uh, but I'm going to be starting with how to get and use a grappling hook, uh, the best and easiest hooks for crafting, including the material and recipe, and I'll be covering all platforms. Uh, some are only available with the 1.3 update. I'll show those towards the end and tell you which platforms that applies to. Uh, so getting started, all hooks are crafted at a regular iron or lead anvil, except for the lunar hook. I'll tell you about that one at the very end. There is a dedicated slot to equip a grappling hook, and you'll find that um, in your equipment. It's here underneath your mount slot. You have a grappling hook slot. and uh, there are a couple of hooks that you can craft pretty early in the game that will get you started very nicely. Uh, the basic grappling hook, this is in pre-hard mode, craftable hooks I'm going to talk about first. The basic grappling hook is just one hook and three chains. And you get hooks from uh, skeletons, undead miners, hoplites, and undead vikings. Each of those has a 1 in 25 chance of giving you a hook. Or you have a 1 in 30 chance of getting a hook from piranhas. So those earlier enemies, those are all various areas underground. Piranhas you can find at any level of the jungle. And uh, you can craft 10 chains from one iron or lead bar at an anvil. And you get the hook from one of those enemies. And then you can make your grappling hook. It's three chains and one hook again at the anvil and there's your basic grappling hook it has 19 reach and 11.5 velocity so reach is how far it's going to go um, when you fire it out and velocity is how fast so you can see it doesn't quite <laughs> get to that platform i put there um, but it's a it's a perfectly good grappling hook to start out it is the only one that's actually called the grappling hook and I've created my reach o meter over here to show you how far these go. So um, these blue torches are every five. And you can see it's just short of the fourth one. Um, and this is counted from the height of your character up if you're firing it up. And it's just from the side of your character if you're firing it sideways. So that's your basic grappling hook. Now you can also early on make hooks from gems and uh, depending which type of gem you use that's actually going to determine how far and how fast how much reach and how much velocity you get so um, the easiest one to make probably because you're probably going to find amethyst most easily is the amethyst hook i happen to have one of these here and i've color coded how far that one reaches uh, so the different gem types 15 of any single type of gem at your anvil um, so 15 amethyst you can make your amethyst hook and that's how far that reaches you can also use topaz it'll reach two more sapphire will reach two more emerald will reach two more yet ruby will reach two more after that and diamond i'm going to show you here i got 15 diamonds and this is how you do it 15 diamonds at your anvil and there you go. And uh, if you are on PC, you can just right click to swap that in. I think your alternate button will do that on other platforms. Uh, and there you go. Diamond hook reaches to where the white ones are. <laughs> and that is 28 reach. So um, it goes anywhere from 18 reach for the amethyst to 28 reach for the diamond uh, and everywhere in between. Um, the starting velocity is 10 for amethyst and 12.5 is the highest for the diamond hook. Uh, basically, each higher tier gem adds an extra 2 reach and an extra 0.5 velocity. There is no amber hook, by the way. Um, and yeah, as far as using it, default key on PC is your E key. Uh, and if you're on mobile, you'll actually just swipe from your character towards the surface that you want to grapple to. If you're on a console, you should have a button for that. <laughs> so um, yeah, the next one that you can get in the game is the Ivy Whip. So the Ivy Whip uh, is arguably the best one in pre-hard mode, arguably, overall. Um, it's got the, the nicest combination of stats. It's 12 jungle spores and three vines. Again, always at your anvil. And that is your Ivy Whip. So um, the Ivy Whip, has a reach of 25 and has a velocity of 13. So you can see it's not quite as long of a reach as the diamond or even the ruby, um, but it uh, does have a higher velocity than any of the gem hooks. And one thing that sets this one apart versus those other early ones is that it has three uh, hooks or latch points. And so you can see I can actually fire multiple um, up to three <laughs> of these hooks out 
and it will attach up to three times. And that's something that becomes more important as you get to some of the more advanced uh, hooks. So now we'll talk about the, those are all the craftable ones in pre-hard mode. Uh, we'll now talk about the non-craftable wall ones. I'm going to tell you about all of them. I'm only going to demo a couple of them. Um, probably the easiest one arguably to find is the web slinger. Uh, the web slinger has the shortest reach actually of any of them in the game. It's just a reach of 16 and a velocity of 10. But the special thing about this, um, like the IV whip, it fires multiple hooks. And this one actually fires up to eight. Um, now I have to go somewhere where there's more surfaces to latch onto to uh, to actually show how many, but there you go. Um, it will fire up to eight at once. It does have a short reach, however. Uh, you can also get a Skeletron hand. It's about a one in eight chance to drop from Skeletron when you defeat Skeletron. That's a 22 reach, 15 velocity, two hooks. Not gonna show you that one. Slime hook is a, about a one in three chance to drop from King Slime. Has a 20 reach, 10 velocity, and three hooks or latch points. Um, Slime hook is not available on 3DS apparently. The fish hook also is a 1 in 60 chance from doing your angler fishing quests. There's a 1 in 60 chance the angler will give that to you as a reward for a fishing quest. It has a 25 reach, 13 velocity, and two hooks. Almost equals the Ivy Wick whip except for one less uh, latch point. And I will show you the candy cane hook because I happen to have one. Um, this is a 1 in 159 chance from presents during the Christmas event. Now, if you're spending time during the Christmas event, one in 159 doesn't sound like much, but you're gonna get a lot of presents. So there's a reasonable chance you'll get it, and I did. Uh, it has a reach of 25, has 11.5 velocity, only one hook though. And so you can see, if, if you only have one hook, and this applies to the earlier ones and some other ones as well, normally as you send out a hook, you'll actually detach and then reattach to the other surface that you're hooking to, and that's gonna become important. Um, the last pre-hard mode hook that you can get that I'm gonna talk about is the bat hook, which is similar idea to the candy hook. It's uh, one in 159 from goodie bags during the Halloween event. Now, the difference is that it actually has the longest reach and the highest velocity of any hook in pre-hard mode, or at least available in pre-hard mode. It's a 32 reach and 15.5 velocity, longest and fastest. But again, like the candy cane hook, it only has one hook or one latch point. So um, that's why it's not the best overall, <laughs> arguably. Anyway, so let's move on to hard mode. Now, hard mode, uh, all but one of the hard mode hooks are not craftable. There is only one that is craftable. So I'm gonna tell you about all of these. I'll demonstrate a few of them because there are some special ones. So first up is the dual hook. So the dual hook um, is a one in 70 chance to be dropped from Mimics. It has a 28 reach, uh, 14 velocity, quite respectable, two hooks, but only one latches at a time. And that's why it's called the dual hook. You notice when I have the, the candy cane hook, um, I can only, as I fire out, because it only has one hook, as I fire it out, it detaches from the first surface and then attaches to the other surface. Why this is called the dual hook, um, it will only latch in one place, but it will keep you hooked until it relatches. And you can see that way I'm not falling um, and so on. That's the idea of the dual hook. And so that is a one in 70 drop from regular mimics. Uh, now the spooky hook I also happen to have is from the pumpkin moon event. It is dropped by morning wood and uh, it's a variable chance of being dropped. There's also a Christmas hook dropped by Everscream in the frost moon. So depending what wave you're on for each of those events, the pumpkin moon and the frost moon, uh, morning wood in the pumpkin moon and Everscream in the, the frost moon will drop. Uh, respectively, the spooky hook and the Christmas hook. Uh, they are The stats for the two of them are the same. That's why I mentioned them together also because the events are sort of similar. Um, but they both have the same stats. 35 reach, which is obviously quite long. And uh, 15 and a half velocity and they each have three hooks. So again, they have that ability to attach to multiple places. Uh, again, moving along to some other ones. There are... The rest of the ones I'm gonna talk about actually are only 
available since the 1.3 update. So basically, if you're on a platform that does not have the 1.3 update, you can only get the ones I've talked about already. Um, if you do have the 1.3 update, which is right now available only on PC, PS4, and uh, Xbox One, it will be coming to mobile platforms, iOS and Android, and it will also come to the Nintendo Switch version whenever that gets released. Um, you have some additional hooks that are available. So there's the Thorn Hook, which is a 1 in 10 chance of being dropped by Plantera. There's the Worm Hook, which is a 1 in 5 chance of being dropped by a Corrupt Mimic. And the Illuminant Hook, which is the one I'm going to show you, which is a 1 in 4 chance of being dropped by the Hallowed Mimic. Those three uh, all have the same stats, 30 reach, 15 velocity, and three hooks. So again, similar to the uh, spooky hook and the Christmas hook, but just uh, slightly lower velocity and a shorter reach. Uh, but there you go, 30, and you can see, makes it up to just about the sixth uh, blue torch that I put there, and that's the Illuminant hook. Same stats as the uh, thorn hook dropped by Plantera and the worm hook dropped by Corrupt Mimic. Now there is also a tendon hook, which is a one in five chance of being dropped by a Crimson Mimic, which is the same as those three I just talked about, except it just reaches one tile further for some reason. So it has a reach of 31 instead of 30 like the other three that I just talked about. Now there's also the anti-gravity hook, and this one's pretty cool. Um, it's a one in nine chance of being dropped by the Martian saucer during the Martian Madness event. Uh, so it has a 31 reach, 14 velocity, and three hooks. It doesn't sound too uh, impressive, but it has uh, some differences. <laughs> and uh, so basically you can, when you hook two surfaces, you can then sort of orbit around the surface. And uh, yeah, you can have up to three latch points and you can see how that works. Um, basically, that's why it's called the anti-gravity hook because it keeps you at a certain distance. It actually keeps you at exactly 12 tiles from the latch point and allows you to orbit. And as you can see, it does have three latch points, so that gets kind of funky uh, when you <laughs> attach to multiple points. Um, I guess it looks like it just picks one as far as that 12 uh, tile distance. But anyway, that's how the anti-gravity hook works. And if we latch from above, it still has the same effect. For whatever reason, um, it doesn't seem to want to orbit past... Uh, Oh, no, yeah, you can then use the up and down. So you can use uh, back and forth to orbit that way, and then you can use up and down to go the rest of the way around. So there you go. You can actually orbit all the way around with the anti-gravity hook. Now, um, there's also the static hook, which is a really cool one as well. It's bought from the Steampunker for 50 gold after you defeat one mechanical boss. The Steampunker shows up, and you can buy the static hook for 50 gold. It actually has the longest reach of any hook in the game at 37. It has a reach of 37. Um, it's considered a variable velocity uh, and it has two hooks. But you can see here, um, this is why it's called the static hook. You can actually choose how far away from the surface you are and you just uh, obviously push the directions to choose how far away you want to be. And you can basically hover in a certain spot with this, which makes it very cool. And the other thing is, um, technically it has two hooks, but like the dual hook, only one is latched at a time. So you can have yourself in place here, and then I can just hook to another surface and decide how far I want to be from that. So uh, there you go, that's a static hook. And it's very unique and uh, actually, pretty easily available because once you defeat a mechanical boss, you can buy that from the Steampunker for 50 gold. Now, the only hook that is craftable in hard mode and also only available since the 1.3 update for the platforms that have that uh, is the Lunar Hook. The Lunar Hook is the also the only one you will not craft at the anvil. You'll come to your Ancient Manipulator. That's this thing that you get from defeating the Lunatic Cultist and you craft it from um, six of each of the type of fragments that you get during the lunar event. So basically this is the latest hook in the game that you can get. Uh, right near the end of the game, after you defeat the four pillars, uh, you're probably not gonna have time to do it before you uh, fight the Moon Lord, but um, technically you could. Anyway, um, it's six of each type of fragment from the four types of pillars at your Ancient Manipulator, and here it is, the Lunar Hook. 
And there we go. Uh, and it has the funniest tooltip uh, that I noticed. Anyway, um, you want the moon, just grapple it and pull it down. And um, it's a good hook. It's 35 reach, 16 velocity, and 4 hook or latch point. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure. That might be the fastest in the game. But, uh, yeah, it's just... And you'll see it has the four latch points and each one uh, uses the graphics from a different one of the lunar pillars. So um, I guess that's it looks cool <laughs> as well as being a pretty functional hook and having some pretty good stats. And that is all of the hooks or the grappling hooks or the grapple hooks, whatever you want to call them, in Terraria. So I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. Bye for now.